Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Nick with Mystery Mountain Outdoors and I am out hunting of all things, kind of what I love to do. Uh, I'm in Idaho. I'm a long ways back in there in the Wolverine side-by-side -side. Um, and as you can see there's a glass windshield on it and that is the Freedom UTV glass windshield. It just came out. Um, some of you guys have seen it. I've posted uh, a few pictures and things but this is kind of a user review. So far, I've had it out in the summertime. Uh, now it's, I don't know, 20 degrees in the morning, so it's been pretty cold. And I've had it in Utah and Idaho. So this thing's been with me for a little while now, and I think it's, uh, I think it's time to do a review. I think I've used it enough to have a pretty good feel for it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about this thing. Okay, so as you can see, obviously it's a glass windshield, um, metal frame. This is about 10 gauge material or eighth inch thick. It's powder coated steel. Um, that was one of the first things I noticed when I pulled it out of the box is it's a very, very robust frame. Um, and it wraps tightly around the uh, roll bar here. Glass is automotive glass, of course, what you would expect on a windshield of this caliber and I like that they've got the windshield as far over to the roll bar as you can and then you'll see these two carriage bolts here those carriage bolts bolt to a bracket let me see if I can lighten this up a little bit there we go those carriage bolts bolt to a quarter inch thick or 316 it kind of looks like quarter inch thick um, the bolts actually to the frame rather than just clamping around it and then these two actually hold a majority of the weight of the windshield and then you've got a uh, clamp up top a padded clamp and actually it pinches the uh, hinge as well so it, it bolts everything together and keeps it nice and tight um, moving around you can see it's got a vent that goes all the way across Right now I have it wide open. I think it can go maybe a little further, but you can see here, here's the mechanism that we use. So you loosen that, you pull it in, and just tighten it up. Also, this is built really well, nice and stout. You can see there's some marks here on the powder coating. That's, uh, that's superficial, doesn't really matter. But the bracket itself is built out of Looks like 12 gauge or eighth inch material. Um, maybe a little thinner. Might be 10 gauge as well, actually. It looks about as thick as the other one. So crank this thing open. That's as easy as it is to crank it open. Come around on this side. I've got a windshield wiper. This one is a Rifab. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the guys at Freedom UTV started uh, as part of, you know, part of Rifab. They split off and started another company where they now offer things for Yamahas and so on and so forth. So there's the sticker there, Freedom UTV. At any rate, the wiper, um, as you can see there, is built really well. It's actually got machine stainless steel. Um, as part of the wiper handle and let me show you the coverage on it if it were me I think I'll probably move it over a little bit and you can see this notch right there let me lighten it up here you can see that notch right there from the factory is probably where it needs to be and then it would wipe all the way to the edge and I'm not so concerned about over here but pull this down and it starts to wipe here comes across here so it gets a majority of the middle but if I put it right there you can see there's gonna be a swatch there that it won't get 
So what I'll probably do is plug that hole here with a rubber washer and grommet, um, just throw a bolt in it and re-drill the hole over here. And that's just preference. Um, I let it sit on top of the rubber gasket here. It has never fallen down and I drive kind of crazy sometimes. Now, what does it do when you put a glass windshield on? If you have a glass windshield, this will be very similar. Um, if you have the factory glass one or a couple of the other offerings. But the difference between, let's say, the factory glass is this is half the cost. Now, granted, it doesn't have an electric wiper with a, with a pump, but you can put those. I've seen guys put little holes in the hood, and then you shoot that uh, stream up onto the window. But at any rate, what it has that the others do not is you have a vent. And this vent is super handy. Right now, because it's cold, I've been running it vent down. Um, you get really no airflow through there, and it keeps you nice and warm. Most of the air just blows right around the outside. Like I said, I have this, uh, I've used this in Utah, and when I was in Utah, what I did is, uh, it was hot, is I just cracked this open. But what's kind of nice is a full open like that, you get the most airflow. Uh, and, and it blows down kind of on your hands and about the middle of your chest or so, full open. And that's the way I preferred to run it, but I've actually ran it um, as well. Oh, I tightened it too much. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to do this one-handed. So I've actually done and kind of cracked it just a little bit like that. And what happens is it redirects that air up and you get airflow in your face. So you can see I've just got it cracked. So what's kind of nice is you actually can direct the airflow kind of where you want it now i'm sure the first question people are going to ask is dust so i actually have the factory poly windshield and it's actually installed on the back upside down so it, it fits right on there the clamp goes right between the seat belt bracket there and then the top one goes here and as you can see it fits on there pretty dang well. Obviously there's a gap across the top and there's a gap across the bottom, but it fills the gap for the most part and it keeps a lot of the dust down. Up here where I'm at right now, it's all snow and everything. So you can see, we'll just peek inside here. There's not a ton of dust. There is a little bit, but part of that was from trailering it. So really you don't get a lot of dust. When I was in Utah, However, it was super dusty and to keep the dust down, what I did is crack the windshield and having the vent open, it allows airflow through there and kicked most of it out. And I actually think without the back and the window cracked, it would have better airflow and keep it out. But what happens is it comes in right here and swirls just a little bit and then the vent, you open it and allow the air to blow to the back but then you just get a tiny bit right here so i think without the back windshield that i have here it might be even better but i haven't tried it yet so um okay so let's talk about quality <clears throat> i had a colpin windshield glass windshield metal frame just like this that i ordered it came in and it was probably half the thickness of this material it didn't fit even remotely close to as good as this one did and the other thing is i didn't want to cut off visibility i didn't want the glass being way up here and then you can't see down the hood and this one um, is about as low as you can go here to the hood so you get really good visibility but you also have the vent um, the Colpin one, because it came to me, it was bent already in the package, I returned it, and I kept waiting to see what else would come out. I actually considered building my own, and then when I saw this one come out, I decided, yeah, that's definitely the one for me, and, and I am not disappointed in any way, shape, or form. It has worked flawlessly, and it's one of the better accessories I have just show you the inside here you can see how tight it fits to the factory roof just the fit 
on this thing is really really good you can follow it down here on the roll bar and then across here even where the vent is here you can see how well it fits around all the pieces and parts okay so talked about the outside of this thing talked about the vent and everything let me climb in and point the camera about eye level so that you can get a view of how much um, visibility you lose and then also you can see kind of the side and how that impacts your vision so let's climb inside here if it's shaky i apologize okay so this is about eye level for me as you can see the the, the steering wheel is here and the factory visibility is somewhere down here so you lose effectively i'd say maybe three inches um, but that's that's your view through it you can tell you only lose another inch from the roll bar so that's really minimal and then across same thing um, i have noticed that it doesn't bug me at all um, i know that yamaha tapered the hood intentionally just so that you can see approach and everything else a little bit better um, but I, I've just come to kind of get used to it and it's really not that bad at all. So I would much rather have a vent than full visibility. And I would a thousand times rather have a glass windshield versus a poly. Now, part of the reason I wanted this windshield over the factory windshield is the factory windshield, um, once you put it in, it's, it's kind of there. You know, you can't take it out. Whereas this one, I can take these two bolts out, pull the windshield bracket off, put that back, same thing here. And then I've just got two quick clamps up here, those guys there. And I can pull this whole windshield off with a total of six bolts. And I think probably, I don't know, 15 minutes. So I like the ability to pull this windshield off if I decided I didn't want it. Um, and the only reason I thought I would want to take the windshield off is in the summer, you know, you get too much heat and you want, you know, some good airflow. But when you crack this thing open, you get so much airflow through here that I think even in 100 degree heat, you're going to get just enough airflow that it's perfect. And so you can just leave the windshield. It's not blowing you in the face. You don't have to wear goggles or anything. Um, and, and you also get the benefit of having uh, some breeze when it's hot. Now, if you also notice, now that I have the vent, the, um, vent open, I now can see that approach angle in the front. So if you are in a you know, sticky situation, you got a lot of rocks, maybe you're trying to go through an area that's a little, little sketchy, uh, just pop the vent open and you'll be able to get a little better visibility so that is my review of the uh, freedom utv glass windshield for the yamaha wolverine x4 and i believe x2 i don't think there's a difference so this one i'm gonna close the vent here and i'm gonna pop out Ugh. this is a 2020 yamaha wolverine model um I don't think it really matters, you know, anything in the Wolverine lineup for the X2, X4, I think it'll fit. Um, and if you are looking for a glass windshield um, that won't necessarily break the bank, I think some of the Super ATV poly windshields that have a vent are somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 bucks. So for an extra couple hundred bucks, um, granted, I think the windshield was 620 I believe and then it was 85 for the wiper and that seems expensive for the wiper but you're getting all machined parts versus some junk um, and it it works really well so I think total cost is somewhere a little over 700 which is a little over half the cost of a factory windshield and you get the benefit of being able to remove it if you needed to and have the vent so out of the options that are out there right now this is my favorite. Um, I'm not paid by these guys. I don't have any endorsement deal. Uh, I'm just doing this because I like sharing with you guys, uh, giving you my thoughts, and maybe you're out there 
looking to purchase something and you just don't know what to get. So take a look at this. Um, I think you'll like it. Freedom UTV glass windshield. I'm going to hop back in and uh, keep looking for elk. But uh, until next time, I'll post this up on YouTube here as soon as I get home. I actually did an unboxing and review video um, before I left town and, and before the first time I used it. So I unboxed this thing and then I did an installation kind of review, uh, over, overview I should say. Um, so check that out too, I'll post that in my channel. Um, and if you're looking at different things, I did an entire review uh, of the Wolverine. So I'm just doing this stuff because it's fun and uh, keeps me entertained. But uh, hopefully it helps some of you guys out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you later. Bye.